So now, game number three from the Leah Cora Center. It's the defending champion, Power, against Tri-State here in the city of brotherly love. And that means the doctor is back. Julia serving leading Tri-State, one of the all-time greats. 16 combined ABA and NBA seasons. He brought the title to Philadelphia in 1983. 11-time NBA All-Star, all 11 NBA seasons. And of course, enshrined in Springfield in the class of 1993. And the head coach and the doctor meeting the fans here in Philadelphia and ready to lead his team in the finale of this triple header here in the city of brotherly love. And with that, we welcome you back. I'm at Cohen with Avery Johnson. Simply put, here in Philadelphia, it does not get better than that seeing number six back in the building. Love number six. Uh, Dr. J, what an incredible career. And let's give a lot of credit to Ice Cube and the Big Three yeah. for the level of coaches that we have in the Big Three. You know, obviously you got Nancy Lieberman, legend. Um, Lady Magic, right. we got Dr. J, George Gervin, Gary Payton. Yeah, we got some incredible, George Gervin, we got some incredible coaches that gives a lot of credibility for them to spend their time being as passionate as, as they are about the big three. As for the players in this wins, a lot of talent as well as we look at the rosters brought to you by State Farm. And for Tri-State, their co-captains, they've done a few things together. Amore Stoudemire and Nate Robinson. Glenn Big Baby Davis, game winner last week for power. But this team, when you look at where it all starts, Katina Mobley coming off a huge week for power in Indianapolis. And he got things going in this season with 28 points. It powers with. And talking to Catino, you know, he, he, the, his amount of work and preparation that he puts into his body, you know, float tank, cryotherapy, uh, his stretching routine, and his preparation is incredible. And then Amare, wow, this guy just looks incredible. His mid-range jump shot, we used to treat it just like a three-point shot. You better rush him and make him drive. And here's another legend. Nancy looked like she can go out here and play in the big three. <laughs> she looked so good. And what a legendary career, Hall of Fame career. Just remarkable, Ed. Lady Magic, as you mentioned, on one side, a champion a year to go with power, trying to repeat here in year number three, the big three. And away we go here from Philadelphia. Jason Richardson, Yakuba Diawara, and Amari Stoudemire out there for Tri-State. And for power, Katina Mobley, along with Michael Thompson, Clay's brother, and Glenn Big Baby Davis, who didn't score a ton last week, four points, but the game-winning jumper in the win against threes company. Normally, uh, you know, if teams get, get off to a hot start, you know, they're gonna set the tempo for their entire game. We haven't seen that. We've seen some comeback. Big Baby no, Jay Rich with the rebound. And last comeback, three-headed monsters down 13, Surge back to beat the Aliens, and what a performance down the stretch from Rashard Lewis to get them to 2-0. Katina Mobley, age 43, out of Cardinal Doherty High School. He's from North Philadelphia. Jay Rich backs him down. is gonna back it up and try state the first on the board. And then Katina Mobley, you know, we arrive here uh, with our production meetings four and five hours before the game and who's on the court shooting shot after shot after shot Katino Mobley. It's amazing the work that he puts in the focus the preparation physically mentally he wants to win another title. He's going to need his teammates to step up because I can't I can't see Tri-State allowing him to go one-on-one -on -one and have a big night. Uh, you know Thompson's going to have to make some threes. Big Baby's going to have to you know, make some jump shots. All, all the teammates are going to have to contribute because, again, he's going to see one, one and a half defenders just like on that in that situation right there. Let's revisit the key rules. If you're new to Big Three, this is season three of the top professional three on three league in the world. First to 50 wins after win by two halftime comes when a team has scored 25. There's no game clock. There is a 14-second shot clock. Free throws get one shot 
if you're fouled in the process of shooting. And of course, the four point shot player must be touching any part of the three four point circles, which are 30 feet from the basket. All right, Stoudemire, a little more conventional that time, 4 2 Tri State. And that's what we talked about with a lot of big guys. It's not always just playing with your basket back to the basket but it's getting that live ball catch on the elbow and using your ability to put the ball on the floor and hopefully your big guy is trailing you, the big guy defender's trailing you and you can put pressure on him just like Sotomayor did on that last play. A big baby lost control of his body, caught for traveling. But you still see the athleticism, his ability to break guys down, especially off the dribble. Yeah, the athleticism is still there. There it but is. But also big baby's defense. Mobley out for Michael Thompson. Rises and hits. Michael Thompson, 31 years old. Clay is 29. Their youngest brother, Trace, 28, plays Major League Baseball as Tia Wara steps up. Pick and roll coverage is in, in all of our games. You know, what are you going to do? you know defensively if you're guarding the screener are you going to going to switch are you going to drop back in what we call a straight drop or a zone are you going to try to trap the pick and roll so decisions need to be made on every play here they switches the pick and roll but thompson makes a huge three over side of mine contested three not surprising to say a thompson hits a three with a hand in his face and does it rather calmly Clay's brother makes it seven to six power. Amari Stoudemire diving on Glenn Big Baby Davis. And the reach and foul on Big Baby. If you're going to switch on a pick and roll, you have to switch up the line, above the three point line to take away that three. Stoudemire was a little bit slow in his switch and Thompson converted. Big Baby and Amare swoops in and finishes. Nine to six power. Quentin Richardson, we'll see if he appears. He's been battling a hamstring injury. Richardson out for D.O.R., chased off the line and stripped by Mobley. In for Big Baby. What a play. Great defense and understanding the rules. Still score as soon as you can. 7-0 run for power. Oh, Mari, the switch and the finish with the left. Mari looks like a man on a mission. And I think you'll see him uh, D Baby Davis will end up backing up a little bit more, giving him a little bit more space, and then you'll see if Amari's going to make his jump shot tonight. But he can't allow Amari to continue to drive. Oh, Jay Rich threw it away. Mobley from deep. Remember, Jason Richardson led the NBA most threes. At one point in his NBA career, as Stoudemire hits another one. Perfect. Um, Davis decided to take the drive away, and if Stoudemire is making that shot and mixing it in with his drives, good night. This game may be over before you know it. Oh, nicely done. Thompson, the pocket pass for Big Baby. And we get a stoppage here with Power Avery, leading by three over Tri-State. Big Baby Davis. That was a great pocket pass by Thompson and an incredible finish. Download the Big Three app in the App Store and Google Play Store. Exclusive content, stats, highlights, merch, everything you want to know about the Big Three, download the Big Three app and get it. Ah, uh, summer. And what's better than s'mores? S'more chili on that dog, please. This is Hormel Chili. We are Chili Nation. This is not a bet. It's a revolution in sleep. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is on sale now during our lowest prices of the season. 
It senses your movement and automatically adjusts to keep you both comfortable. It even helps with this. So you wake up ready to hit the ground running. Don't miss our 4th of July special with the Queen Sleep Number 360C4 Smart Bed, now $12.99, plus free premium delivery when you add a base. And Sunday. Sleep Number, proven quality sleep. Barb. 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 I can taste my beer. Samuel Adams Sam 76. Finally, a refreshing lager that you can taste. Pool, dip, pop, like it's your J-O-B. Cheesy Bites Pizza from Pizza Hut is back, people. Time to go to work on them before they're gone. No one out pizzas the hut. With the money I've made on Poshmark, I've been able to pay for all our family's vacations. I could pay for my wedding just on what I've made from Poshmark. I've made over $10,000 and I was able to buy my new car. Download the free Poshmark app now. How does Armor All harness the power of the Viking? Dust, dead, grime, dead. Look, UV rays, hurry, go now. Armor All, protectors of cars, defenders of fresh. Here at Philadelphia, power now leading 12-10. They changed the Michael Thompson three to a two. Nancy Lieberman last year, first ever women coach to win a title in a professional men's sports league. And one of her players, Quentin Richardson, wouldn't have it any other way. She does an amazing job of being ready. She come in with cars. She's as prepared as any coach I've played for Stan Van Gundy's, Larry Brown, Mike D'Antoni, Alvin Gentry, some great coaches. She's right up there with any of them. Right now in the league, in any league, NBA, Big three, whatever you want to call it. And there is Quentin Richardson. Yeah, think of the great coaches he played for. Lady Magic with her preparation, the videos, the emails, everything that goes into preparing each week in the Big Three, Avery, has won his affection. Yeah, great sense of appreciation for all the work that Nancy puts in week in and week out. Um, that just builds confidence and trust and loyalty with your players. Now, D.O.R. fires and misses. So we talked to Katina Mobley yesterday as Stoudemire cleans up and scores, and he said, you know, Nancy is sharp, but it's also the right fit because so many of the players on this team are sharp, want to be coached, and there's that level of engagement that works both ways. Yeah, because during the practice, Katino Mobley was coaching also, and, you know, Nancy gave him some, some rope and flexibility to communicate and get his thoughts out. As she talked about it's not a dictatorship. You know, it's about team, and if she doesn't have the answer, you know, she's open for suggestions. and. That, that just creates a great learning environment and, and success. Here's the Birdman, Chris Anderson, and comes up short. So for Tri-State, you have Nate Robinson, Mari Stoudemire, Yakuba Diawara, Power, Michael Thompson, Katina Mobley, and the Birdman. Stat on Cat and Stoudemire over Mobley. Some teams like to attack mismatches off the dribble with the guard going against the big guy or post it up. They decided to post it up. Stoudemire versus Mobley. Stoudemire went to his string and he was successful. This is a rematch of last year's semifinals in the big three. Power victorious that time, and for more on Nancy Lieberman, let's go over to Brent Tierney. I'll tell you, that was an intense minute or so. I'm waiting to come back from that package with Q Rich, who was just speaking glowingly about Lady Magic, as she's called, and she's earned it all. She just wanted to coach. I kept telling her, hey, coach, another TV's going to wait for us. We're good. We got 30 seconds. We got it. No, no, I want to get back. And, like, I thought she was going to set a pick on me. I thought she was going to roll right through my body. I mean, she was fired up. She's like, enough with this interview stuff. I want to go coach. I said, okay, I got to respect it. Get back to the huddle, coach. I got you. I think we can all agree, nothing personal, man. No, I would certainly hope not. But she had fire in the eyes, and that's what makes her great, no doubt. Most great people that are passionate about something have that, and she clearly does, no doubt. Uh, thanks, BT. Avery, Brooklyn-born, bred on the courts in Harlem, playing 
some great competition, a silver medal in 1976, and of course a storied college career at Old Dominion. Yeah, I feel I feel bad for my man BT. She had that, that Popovich look in her eyes at the end. At the end, she, she didn't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah, I, I, I thought they were gonna. She was gonna start boxing. Yeah, but Avery, here's the deal. At least, you know, when you're getting popped, you get one word in. I got none. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, that's like pop would be downright verbose compared to what we had, you know? I think the one thing with pop is two questions. If you dare ask a third, you're in trouble. It's time to leave in the corner. Uh, Stoudemire drains it. We got a good game here, tied at 16 here in the first half. Remember, first to 25 brings us to halftime. Yeah, no major runs for teams right now. You know, if a team scores, the, the oh, other team oh, is answering. How about crashing the glass? You know, looks like Birdman's going to get the credit, but Julian Wright was right there. Yeah, tri tri state score, here comes power. And offensive rebounds. We saying that there's a premium on offensive rebounding in our first two games, and it's continued in this game. How about the hop step? Wright gets it back from Birdman. Little Nate thought he had it cleanly. Instead, he's called for the foul on Julian Wright, who's going to take that two-point shot from the foul line. McCoy McGetty still out. The captain for power. Didn't play last week either in Detroit. So Julian Wright, four NBA seasons, six foot eight, a former first-round pick out of Kansas, now in for the defending champ. Yeah, it's hard to feel Corey McGetty's shoes, but this is a great opportunity for, for Wright to come out and have an impact on the game. He's more of a utility guy. You know, he's consistently been a guy that every now and then can, you know, he'll be able to knock down a shot. But if he can make his free throw, uh, offensive rebounds, loose balls, maybe come and help defensively, because again, they're going to have to give their big guys some help on Stoudemire. Stat with the last 12 points for Tri-State. It's tied up at 18. Mobley over Robinson. Katina Mobley the strength to power over the little guy. Pretty interesting to see how teams adjust, especially with that matchup. That's a win for power every time they get the ball with Katina on the box. Nate wants it back and he's got it! Nate Robinson to the basket, taking Mobley off the dribble and some. He said, Coach Avery, what are you talking about? I'm coming back and shaking bait. He hears all. Mobley back at Robinson. Legs tangled, foul call. Richardson doesn't like it, and Nate's on his backside. Great screen by Stoudemire. Anderson's out of position. Doesn't really get to the basket to block that shot. Great finish by Nate. Now that's three on Nate Robinson. He's yelling to the scorer's table, I have two. But since it's three, he has to sit the rest of the first half. Yeah, that's a, that's a big loss, especially coming off a situation where he makes a splendid move going to the basket. I know he was looking, <laughs> he was looking to go back and, and try to execute that same game plan again offensively. Corsley Edwards in. And summons to the roster with Jermaine O'Neal out. O'Neal, of course, dealing with a heart murmur that was discovered before last weekend's opener in Indianapolis. So Corsley Edwards in for Tri-State, veteran of 10 NBA games. All came in the 04-05 season as both teams going to some guys who weren't on the roster going back to last week. Yes, and I was proud of Jermaine for talking about, you know, his situation. Uh, because whenever you talk about the heart, it's not a hamstring or an ankle, it's the heart. And I was proud of him. Wow, big shot. Contino Mobley. I mean, that lends itself to the conversation because Katina Mobley knows all about that. His career ended prematurely in 2008 due to heart issues. Yes. Julian Wright has gotten us to the break. Power with a surge to close, 25-20. A three from Mobley, the putback from Wright. And what was a seesaw opening half here in Philadelphia? Katina Mobley 
from North Philadelphia, grew up in the only section of town, and then starred at Cardinal Doherty, which also is the alma mater of Kyle Lowry, champion with the Raptors, and how about that and, and that was great defense by Jason Richardson. It was just better offense. And you got to be able to bounce back from those situations. You know, how are you going to respond to adversity? Coach, you may have heard of him, Dr. J with Brandon Tierney. You know who this guy is, basketball royalty, Doc. You're back home, everybody's giving it up for you. This has to feel pretty good for you. What's it like to come back to Philly? Well, I'll tell you, it's always great to come back here. You know, I love the fans. We have a mutual love affair going with one another. I'm glad to see them show up for the big three. Now I just need my team to step it up a little bit and show up for the big, for the tri-state. Yeah, no, we got a good matchup inside, Big Baby, and obviously Amari and, and, and Coach Avery Johnson. Before we referenced that up and under when you just palmed it, I always wondered, when you jumped in the air, did you know what you were going to do, or you just kind of sat on mid-flight and I'll make something up? Time, but not all the time, but I, I would think the majority of the time it was something I had done before. Okay. All right, so that's what came out of it. A little muscle memory. Muscle memory? <laughs> Uh, I think it was having that air brake. <laughs> the air brake on and then having a little time in the air. I got you. Get back on the bench. Doctor, it's an honor. Thank you very much. Dr. J. All right, BT. Yes. Thank you Dr. like him in the history of this game and beyond. Yes, and the rest of us, we can only dream of staying in the air that long. Only time, only time I've ever been in the air that long when I've jumped off of a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came into the league first year, 88-89. He retired two seasons ago, just missed playing in the NBA at the same time. But it's funny to hear the conversation. People say, how did the NBA move on after Michael Jordan retired? His big baby hits that. Before that, it was how did the NBA take that next step after Dr. J retired? You played during those years. Right, and, and they took that next step. And along came a guy like Michael Jordan. Yep. Who took the baton from guys like Dr. J and, you know, Magic and Bird and... And then the next guy came along, and it's Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. And it's just great. And you know, guys like you know, Kevin Durant. Here's Stoudemire. Big first half for Tri-State. Scored 14. Richardson and Michael Thompson's there. Now, trying to freak Thompson up. Now one-on-one. -on -one. Big baby. Diawara. Lisa Mobley grimacing. Catching his breath at the break. Just picked up the steal. Stoudemire lost the dribble. Michael Thompson, hand in his face, no. But right now you see very poor shot selection. Guys are shooting contested shots. There's no space, not a lot of movement. Diawara, shot clock at two. And then when your teammate creates a shot for you, you have to take it. That time, J Jason Richardson created a shot, but Diawara didn't want to shoot the basketball. And Four-point shot, Michael Thompson not there. Jay Rich got to get going. But Jay Rich wanted the foul. Instead, it's stat. Diawara shuffled his feet, traveling. Great defensive strategy by Power. Nancy made sure that Stoudemire wasn't going to be able to go one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't quite a double team, but it was it was a, what we call a hard dig, trying to force him to make a decision, put the ball on the floor, but make sure that he passes the basket. Mobley, only option was to shoot, and boy, did he ever. Mobley can flat-out score the basketball. I'm so impressed with him. At one time in his career, he wasn't as effective going to his right. But now, you know, wiser. Uh, he's probably watched a ton of film on how defenses try to, try to slow him down. And just that little fadeaway, even if you're, you know, you're not jumping out the gym, but that little fadeaway right there, staying on balance, gives a defense, puts the defense in a bad position to try to contest and block his shot. Look at the hometown guy, Tino Mobley, grew up 
just north of the Leah Cora Center in North Philadelphia. Had a great run at Rhode Island for Al Skinner and Jim Harrod before the 11 NBA seasons. And you were living in Houston at the time he was starting to play for the Rockets with Steve Francis. You saw that evolution from his younger years through his NBA career. Absolutely. He always wanted to play against the older guys. The lights in the gym never went out. He was a guy that, that lived in the gym. Every time we worked out, he was always there. So whether it was on the track, lifting weights, working on our fundamentals, playing, you know, basketball three on three. Right. He always wanted to compete. He said to stay sharp, to not lose the motor skills, if you will. He still plays pickup at UCLA, lives out in California, and that keeps him sharp, even if the guys are younger and faster than he might be at age 43. Right. He talked about early in the week, you know, just really stretching a lot, making sure that he takes great care of his body, and then towards the middle of the week, that's when he turns it up and uh, try to play against young guys and get his body moving. And just doing the little things, Avery. Yeah, just rebounding, and you know, it's not just rebounding, but it's also passing. Well, Power, even with that missed shot from Big Baby, has scored the last nine points. Tri-State scoreless since the break. It was 25-20. And Robinson offloads. Edwards and Michael Thompson with the rebound for Power. Over the top, and Diawara face guarding Katina Mobley's whistle. And Big Baby's spending a lot of time on the perimeter. You'll probably see Nancy make an adjustment to get Big Baby inside a little bit more. I think he can win this matchup against Edwards. Powered the defending champions. 7-1 regular season last year. Beat Tri-State in the semifinals. Three's company for the championship. Mobley, pull-up jumper. Mobley's close to being called for an offensive foul with that left elbow, so he's got to be very careful. Edwards missed the dunk. Keep in mind, Power, their captain, Corey McGetty, last year's big three MVP, hasn't played this year. Got to come over and help. Quick turn, missed the jumper, Mobley, and he gets it back. And Ed, that's good. That's what happens with a mismatch. It's not you stopping the offensive player in the post initially, but it's that second jump if he misses the shot. So that's why you get got to get down in support. So here, Catino misses the shot, but again, because of his size and strength, he's able to retrieve the ball and then make a really nice pass again against a mismatch with Big, Davey ver Big Baby versus uh, Nate Robinson. Let's see if he was going up. Call is the foul was on the floor. And it was the fourth team foul on Tri-State. And trying to get Amari Stoudemire in. They just do in time for Yakuba Diawara. I like how you say his name, man. Lost some sleep over it. A lot of practice, but it worked out. Big Baby Davis just rolls off the tongue. A little easier. Yeah, that's a little. There he is. Julian Wright missed it over Edwards. Offensive rebounds going the way of power here since halftime. And there's the matchup you've been talking about. And also, you know, guys like Julian, when you shoot, follow your shot. A lot of great scores. That's, that's another reason why they can score the basketball. It's not just on wide open shots or some one-on-one -on -one move where you get the defender off balance and you score. But they have a sense of when they miss shots, following their misses. Uh, Gatino Mobley, the touch from the Philly native. And the run to start the half continues. A 6-0 run. And in all, 11 straight points for power. Isn't it great how the fans uh, receive Gatino? You know, basically a standing ovation. It's back home. Smooth. Great job of creating space. Little jab step. Cardinal Doherty, where he went to high school, he played his final year of prep school in Maine. Cardinal Doherty has since closed, but Kyle Lowry starred there. 
As Robinson steps up, a much needed three for Tri-State. Much needed. Nate Robinson looked for him. To, again, he, he scored earlier, going left off the pick and roll. He's got to be a little bit more offensive minded here. Matchup again against Nate Robinson, this time right. Spin move, hook shot, and Power extends the lead. For Tri-State, Corsley Edwards with Amari Stoudemire, Nate Robinson. Edwards spins, can't finish against Big Baby. Entering the bear hug. Right doubled. Big Baby sets the feet for three. Offensive board. Looks like they're going to try to bring down, bring some help in the post. Oh my goodness! Arms that, tangled. That foul could have gone either way. <laughs> That was a wrestling match. Whether it was guys like Muggsy Bogues, you know, Spud Webb, I'm not gonna even include myself. We don't like to get posted. No. <laughs> it's violent inside when, when you try to post up a small guy. Try all you can, at some point it's gonna backfire. Yeah, Nate Robinson, he's a football player. <laughs> Multi-sport guy. Big baby career, 18% three-point shooter. Had some good looks there. And now gets a breather. Mobley into traffic. Ball loose. Dr. J did a great job. Heard him talking to his team in that, during that last break of bringing over some more help and trying to force Catino to find Anderson or Wright. Cannot allow him to go one on one when you have you know, two guys on the floor that are not great three point shooters. They can potentially make a three every now and then, but that's, that's not their strength. Dr. J giving Edwards a breather. Jason Richardson back in with Robinson and Stoudemire. Deep shot. Nate airballed. Richardson couldn't throw it off Mobley. Missed it. Got it back and finishes. These guys are competing at a high level and, and playing above the rim. Right. <laughs> These guys are not below the rim. They're, they're elevating. Nate gets it to go in the foul. Nate Robinson's going to have a chance at three. Now this is shaping up to be an exciting second half. Can Tri-State keep the pressure on power? That's going to be the big question. Yeah, brilliant finish by Nate going to the basket. He's got gaining a lot of confidence. Got off to a slow start. All of his eight points, the last eight for Tri-State, including the first six in halftime. Thompson. Right, the touch. Birdman back out. Julian Wright. Look at Birdman. And Stoudemire gladly says the foul's on me. You can see Tri-State defense shrinking even more and more. They're just daring Wright to shoot the three-point shot. So basically, it's, it's like a two-man zone. Um, the guy, when Patino's in the game, the guy that's guarding Mobley, he'll play him tough try to force him to drive the basketball, but the other two guys are going to just stay in the zone. Chris Anderson, part of the title team a year ago, gets the bounce, power with the 11-point lead, and a timeout here in Philadelphia, defending champs up on Tri-State. City of brotherly love, and of course, the best cheesesteak on the planet. Power leading by 11 over Tri-State. Quentin Richardson for Power has not gotten in, dealing with the hamstring injury here tonight, but he is mic'd up on the bench. Keep his hands up from where he shoot. Coach, I told him whoever he guard to post him up. He got to land. He got to be able to land. He can't take up his space. Yeah. That's two on him. We well, talked about Katina Mobley in Nancy Lieberman's ear. Quentin Richardson has that 
availability as well. You don't see that at every level. Coach, players, the interaction over the course of a game. And that's a great example for all of the young people that are watching, whether they're here or watching on TV, that even though you're not playing and playing an active role and helping the team on the court, you can still stay involved. And your energy, your positive energy, uh, can be, a, you know, something that helps your team. You might see something that the guys on the court don't see. You can assist the coach, but you're still involved. You're not pouting on the bench. You're not feeling sorry for yourself. You're still trying to contribute. Oh, we saw that shot on the bench. It's like Nancy Lieberman and her three assistants right now. Big Baby, Katina Mobley, and Q Rich. Great teams have great leadership. It can't always be about the coach. Julian Wright skies and scores for power. So week number two is the final half. And the close to our triple header tonight in Philadelphia. Ed Cohen, Avery Johnson, Brandon Tierney, our entire CBS Sports Network crew here for the big three. A steal for Michael Thompson. Did Nate lose the ball or did he try to go between his legs? Pretty oh, interesting. With Nate, I think a little bit of both. Yes. As Dr. J has said, he's unpredictable for us and the opponent. Birdman. All right, still a good minutes. And Julian White's going to shoot a shot for two points. <laughs> oh, I, I think Nate tried to put the ball between his legs. I don't know if, um, you know, Dr. J is going to be really excited about that post game. He could be such a plus. The energy he brings. Dr. J said there is that ego, which is good because he believes he can make something happen every time. Yeah. And that would have been very entertaining for the crowd had he put it through yes. his legs and been successful and maybe win and, you know, slam dunk champ, dunk the basketball or scored on it. Only three-time slam dunk champ in NBA history. He's like the Craig Hodges of the dunk contest. Yeah. Won the three-point contest three times. Julian Wright, Rainmaker, not that time. Great defense by Tri-State. Lane open for Richardson. And he's going to shoot at the foul line. Look at the Tri-State roster, Avery. Obviously, Jermaine O'Neal waiting for him to make his season debut. Stoudemire, Robinson, Jason Richardson. Pieces are there for Dr. J's team. It's just a matter of it all coming together. They won five games a year ago. Tough loss last week and trying to get things back on track. Yeah, tough loss last week. Pick and roll situation. They ended up trapping the pick and roll and obviously uh, didn't get a rotation. Uh, lost the game, but the pieces are there. It's all about chemistry. You know, guys, you know, playing together, getting a couple of games under their belt. Oh, no foul. Richardson and Mobley. Shot clock's at two. Diawara can go up, and he does. Really turning up, Tri-State turned up the defense. They didn't leave any room for power to operate. Dribbling the basketball, their screens. You can see Jason Richardson now is trying to deny Mobley the ball. No easy catches. They're trying to make other guys score. Look for them to try to force Mobley to drive the basketball. And when you force him to drive the basketball and there's he doesn't drive, then a lot of times you'll come up short because you're going to have a highly contested shot. No space to operate here. Great job by Jason Richardson. It seems like Tri-State's made an adjustment because Mobley told us yesterday the goal was to drag Stoudemire out and create that space, but they're not giving Mobley that step to get to the basket. No, space is important on any level of basketball. What Jason Richardson did, an outstanding job. The support defense was there. Mobley flips it up and in. Philly's guy, Cat Katina Mobley. Myra was a little bit slow on his baseline rotation to come over and support and help. Incredible shot by Mobley. Shot clock doesn't reset. Richardson, though, DOR, another offensive board. 
Back door. Richardson reverse slam. Are you kidding? Get out of your seat. Brilliant. Magnificent. Out of nowhere. Got the fans off their feet on that move. I know a lot of times in that situation, the dunk gets all of the, gets the highlight, but boy, what a great pass by Dear Wong. That's a dunk champion yeah. doing amazing things and maybe giving Tri-State a little momentum here because if they're going to make a comeback, it's got to be now. And we talked about it at halftime. You know, Jason Richardson was 0 for 2 from the field. Here's a guy that scored 17 points last week. That dunk seemed to really re-energize him. Took the ball to the basket. Now we saw the fans, and there have been some good plays tonight. But all 7,298 seemed to erupt out of their seats here at the Leah Chorus Center. Yes, we've had game-winning baskets. I, I, the banks are open in Philadelphia. Yes, Sunday night version. I guess after that dunk, he deserves yes. a little kiss. All right, nine-point game. Stoudemire, Diawara. Mobley strips him, takes it back, and he's fouled. You just see the smarts, the understanding of three-on-three three from Katino Mobley, right? Veteran of the game. Katino could play one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three. On three. He can play at any level of basketball. Uh, under any circumstances. He now has 19 points. We saw him fighting a little bit when he spoke to Brandon Tierney going off at halftime. Right now, power minus the reigning league MVP, five points away from a 2-0 start. At this point, you could take quality shots. Know where you're going to get your shots. Big baby. Amore overcommits. Left it short. Well, they never cleared it, and they're waving it off. Hit the rim, clearly changed possession. They did not bring it beyond the arc, which you must do. Yes, and the managers, um, they're going to have to check the floor. It's really slippery out there. Oh, we see a manager out there wiping the floor down. Same move, big baby. This time draws the foul, reaching in from Amari Stoudemire. Milking, milking that free throw line. Look like Tri-State's not gonna help and bring some support to help Stoudemire. Well, this is the place where Big Baby hit arguably the biggest shot last year for power. Semifinals against Tri-State. Great setup by Quinn Richardson. And led to a hard foul from David Hawkins. Otherwise, would have been a game-winning basket. But Big Baby stepped up and hit the free throw to win it. Easiest place to get an offensive rebound is after free throw. Diawara in a battle with Mobley. Step through. Finish. Give it to him. Chance at three. Yakuba Diawara. Tri-State hanging tough. <laughs> Ref was really gracious on that play. <laughs> I don't know if that was a three-point play. That looked like he was on the ground, but uh, great move and finish. What a battle. Really? Fans are really getting their money's worth tonight. Guys are leaving it all out on the floor. His cap's a triple header. Stoudemire. Gets it back. Amare denied by Big Baby. He's going to stay with Tri-State. Earlier tonight, Ghost Ballers, a thorough effort. Jamari Moon with 21. Ricky Davis with 20. With the comeback from the three-headed monsters. Down 13, beat the Aliens. Stoudemire halfway down, couldn't finish it. Trying to make some winning plays for both sides. Michael Thompson gets his own rebound. 
Mobley trapped. Three to shoot. Gertina Mobley didn't know the shot clock was coming down. The city of Philadelphia, they're gonna, they're going to run out of ice tonight because <laughs> these guys, I can feel the intensity and the contact and the physicality here on the court side. This guy's gonna need to ice down every part of their, of their body tonight after this game. Is that intense? Hopefully Wawa has some left when it's all said and done. Drops that big baby. And a chance at three. Glenn Big Baby Davis taking a Amare Stoudemire off the dribble. Great body control. Using, utilizing the rim. Watch him here. Two foot jump stop. You hear that every day in practice. High school, college, pros. Diawara. Richardson can't save it. Dimes into the first row. Look out. Power's going to have to make a decision here. Are they going to go for the win with a three? Or go back to Big Dave, Big Baby Davis inside to try to get, you know, force Tri-State the double team? Point game. Poked away by Stoudemire. Big Baby. It's tied up. We have not had many of these tonight or through the first two weekends of the Big Three. Yeah, and again, that's what we talked about. They try to go back inside to Baby Davis. Probably on the next possession, Coutinho Mobley's half the ball in his hands in some sort of isolation situation. First tell ball tonight gives it to Tri-State. Julia Serving, the doctor, will take a timeout. Power is three points away. Tri-State brings Stoudemire with Richardson and Robinson. Nate and Jay Rich trying to keep hope alive. Robinson the drive and finishes. But he was fouled by Mobley. Yep, look for Catino Mobley on this play to be the decision maker. Either he's going to score it or he's going to find somebody with a pass. And look for them to go to Catino Mobley here. Richardson denied Mobley. Thompson way off the mark. See, they thought they had a mismatch with Nate going to Thompson, but Catino needs to get the ball. They've come, they're 0 for 2 in the last two possessions. Nate the crossover. He'll shoot a two-point shot with power leading Tri-State 47-39. Beautifully done. Hopefully not too little too late for Tri-State. Robinson starting to come on late in the first half with 10 points here tonight. Eleven NBA seasons for the 35-year-old. Nate Robinson limited last week, didn't practice. Switches two points. And two big ones there. It's a six-point game. This game's going to go down to the wire. Robinson, four-point shot. He's trying to get his own rebound. It was deflected out. Now, when a team hits 46, if you make a free throw and you're trailing, you get it back. So that was a big possession for Tri-State. Mobley almost took it great, away. Yeah, they're doing a great job of trying to get Catino Mobley involved in every pick-and-roll situation. For two. Mobley knocks it down. They're one point away. Catino Mobley would take every shot <laughs> on every possession until Power wins this game if I was coaching Power. I know that's what Nancy's thinking about. Stoudemire against Big Baby. Quick release. Yes, for Amare Stoudemire. But now Power. Chance to win it here in Philly. The last two times, Catino took the ball out, so they've made an adjustment here. Thompson's taking the ball out. Here we go. Cat. Jay Rich. Power for the win. Mobley. 
Robinson never hit the rim. In the lane, in and out. Now it's Mobley for the win. The Philly guy trying to wrap it up. Just down the road from where he grew up in the only section. Richardson. Point game still for Mismatch power. inside with Catino and Nate Robinson. Catino Mobley, there it is. Wins it for power, leaving it all on the floor in his home city. And the defending champ survived Tri-State. 28 last week, Avery. 23 here tonight. Catino Mobley, 51 points through two weeks. And we talked about consistency from week to week. We had a lot of guys that had big games last week. Did, didn't even make score double figures this week. But Catino Mobley put together back-to-back -back incredible weeks for to lead his team to victory. 14 for Mobley after halftime. And power 2-0 without their captain, Corey Maggetti. The float tank is going to look really good this week for Catino Mobley. Sleep well. Sleep well. 51-43, the final power. Wraps up the triple header with the win. Earlier wins tonight from the three-headed monsters. And in game one, it was Moon with 21. Jamari Moon leading the Ghost Ballers to victory. Let's go to Brandon Tierney with Nancy Lieberman. Okay, coach. Uh, first of all, Catino just left the court, and I talked to him during halftime. He, little vertigo. How's he feeling? Because he looked like he was battling at the end there. Uh, it started last week, but he is such a pro's pro and mentally tough. And I don't know what else to say about the guy who hit the game-winning shot to win. He's a machine. And I want to ask you as a coach, is there extra pressure to make sure he gets the shot to ice it in his hometown? There's not extra pressure. You know, we know. We want to put certain players in certain areas. At the end of the game, he's such a great foul shooter. Yep. He can close out a possession. You know, and, and you, you apologize. You didn't need to, but I tried to get up with you at halftime before, and we rolled in some great footage when Quentin Richardson was incredibly complimentary of you, uh, and, and I wanted to get your reaction to that. You, you fit in on any court, in any part of the world, with any gender, but to coach men and to get the respect that you so clearly do, what does that mean to you? It means everything. I mean, as a coach, you want to be a good leader, a good influencer. And I want to be able to empower our players to, to have them play at a level that makes them champions. And I've been blessed with an amazing group of men. It's really an honor. It's a player's game, and we coaches go for the ride. Empowering the power? Absolutely. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. Legend she gets the win. RPT, Lady Magic for a reason, Nancy Lieberman and Power. Winners in the finale of our triple header, 51-43. Ghost Ballers and three-headed monsters victorious as well. So Bravery Johnson, Brandon Tierney, our entire crew,